the fifth and final batch of 343 pilgrims jetted to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on board Ethiopian airline chartered to fly the 2,000 registered Gambian pilgrims to and from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Hajj will traditionally begin in Mecca in the next few days with a smaller Umrah pilgrimage that can be performed year-round. To perform the Umrah, Muslims circle the Kaaba counterclockwise seven times while reciting supplications to God, then walk between the two Safa and Marwa hills, travel by Hajara. Marcus Grant Mosque, the world's largest, encompasses the Kaaba and the two hills. Before heading to Mecca, the pilgrims visit the city of Medina, where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is buried, and where he built his first mosque. After spending the night in the massive valley of Minna, the pilgrims will head to Mount Arafat, some 20 kilometers east of Mecca, for the pinnacle of the pilgrimage. Around sunset, the pilgrims will then head to the area called Muddalifa, nine kilometers west of Arafat. Many walk, while others use buses. They spend the night there and pick up pebbles along the way. That will be used in a symbolic stoning of the devil back in Minna, where Muslims believe the devil tried to talk Ibrahim out of submitting to God's will. Say Al-Haji Isa Dabo is the president of the Supreme Islamic Council. Alhamdulillah, this year uh, things are going very well. Alhamdulillah, as you said, this is the fi final uh, flight. And uh, the previous ones are already there. And Alhamdulillah, they start uh, performing their, their, their works in Medina. Uh, Insha'Allah, Alhamdulillah, this year, Alhamdulillah, uh, we are very grateful about the, the work of the uh, operators and also the Hajj Commission and the government because uh, the intervention that the government did to make things easier and the organization by the uh, uh, operators, Alhamdulillah, is, is, is very uh, important and so Alhamdulillah, so we, 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 we thank Almighty Allah, Inshallah, we pray, we go and, and come back, Inshallah, and we'll uh, continue to pray for the country and uh, for the people of the Gambia so that we go uh, peacefully and calm, inshallah. May the Almighty Allah accept our prayers. The public relations officer of the Gambia International Airline, Babu Karfati, says so far this year's Hajj is going smoothly, outlining efforts to ensure a successful Hajj and safe return of all pilgrims to the Gambia. Gambia International Airlines, uh, we are very open with issues when it comes to Hajj. Had issues, and we are in the, into this operation for quite a number of years. We are very familiar with the terrain. We can assure them that they are in good hands. We will take care of them as we always do, and uh, all what and we inform them accordingly. Uh, not only GI but the Gambia as a whole. All the pilgrim activities of the pilgrims from the world go up to the last stage of the process. We will make sure that they are well informed back home, so that they will know what is actually happen, happening in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The last three days of Hajj are marked by three events, which are the final circling of the Kaaba, casting of stones in Minna, and removal of Imran cloth. Men often save their head at the end, in a sign of renewal. The final days of Hajj coincide with Idul Adha, or the festival of sacrifice, celebrated by Muslims around the world to commemorate Ibrahim's test of faith. During the three-day eat, Muslims slaughter livestock and distribute the meat to the poor. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Omar P. Jallo.